how has been the reception to the idea that the gita could be a potential world philosophy or world unifying philosophy uh, well i published this book uh, exploring bhagavad gita philosophy structure and meaning back in 2010 it was published by ashgate a good uh, academic publisher in the uk uh, and it gained very good a a reception very quickly it received the choice outstanding title for a, a for, ex, for for excellent books which is a very prestigious award uh, given by the uh, american association of academic libraries they give the they award this to 1 to 40 2.5% of new publications in the 56 uh, disciplines and the book uh, received that award without me having any connections with anyone. I, I, I wasn't even aware of that, that the book was judged in there and they, they gave them. Now, it received very good reviews and a few good reviews. Uh, it received a review in the Journal of Hindu Studies, one of probably the best, uh, one of the best, or if not the best, uh, uh, Journal of Hindu Studies, uh, Oxford University Press. And there it was said that Uh, it's very difficult to break new grounds in the study of the Gita, but um, I've done it. That uh, I, ha- I have broken uh, new grounds. And it ends with a statement that p- future scholars who will not refer to this will be deficient in their scholarship. I mean, that's what they wrote. Uh, and then there was another review uh, by Professor Arvind Sharma, a very famous Gita scholar, uh, mm-hmm. probably you know him. And he that was... in another excellent uh, journal international journal of hindu studies the second excellent uh, i would say the second that the, these these are the two leading uh, uh, journals of hindu studies and there uh, there was this review by uh, professor sharma who wrote that uh, most most uh, gita commentaries are not philosophical but uh, my own commentary is philosophical which is uh, unique and uh, special Uh, there was another review by uh, uh, Hamza Stanton in Philosophy East and West, and he wrote that actually I wrote two books. One book is my Gita commentary. I actually offer a commentary in the text, but the second one is my argument about the structure, which is something else. So you have two books in one, he said. So that was another uh, 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 important uh, uh, review. And then, then uh, Ashgate was acquired by Routledge. Routledge is this huge international uh, publisher, yeah. academic publisher. So Routledge acquired uh, uh, Ashgate because one company uh, 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 buys another sometimes. And then I became a Routledge author. And then Routledge decided to publish this in India, a soft cover, which was done two or three years ago, I think 19, 2019. So now the same book is in the West uh, and also in India with an Indian edition, Indian price. So I think it was received well. I mean, That's published awesome. both in the West and India and got uh, good uh, reviews. Uh, yeah, I think, I think today I, 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 there's, there's a PhD student uh, in Oxford right now who just wrote an article uh, basically accepting my... interpretation of the three-story house and taking it as a point of departure for further development. Uh, I, I'm in touch with him, uh, which is quite, I mean, quite good. I mean, someone takes your ideas and think, okay, let's accept that as a point of departure for an Oxford dissertation and or article, I'm not sure where it went exactly, and develops that into a further argument, takes it further uh, into details. So uh, yes, I think I think it was received uh, received well, and I think that my Gita now is one of the I don't know leading editions, but it is it is it is one of the editions which some scholars refer to. Let's let's try to not go too far, but you you do have some serious. A, a papers on the Gita which quote my edition. Let's let's leave it there. It it, mm. it has occupied a place among uh, among Gita editions. Uh, yeah, people are happy with it. Let's let's leave it like that. Mm. Not be carried That's away. So, so overall, how uh, it's now in the academic world to actually, as you said, the kind of compliments you got, appreciation you got. 
that is remarkable and uh, how is the response been in the devotee community have you tried to publicize it in the devotee community or that is not your primary target audience so there well, is more organic well well I, i am very happy to say that uh, the devotee community very much likes this book uh, it just it just true uh, my other book on the bhagavata purana and the shrimad bhagavatam i think was different but in my gita book the devotee community liked it uh, first um, there was the a uh, uh, russian gbc bhakti vigyan maharaj uh, he 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 was aware of the book and he said he asked iskon russia to do it in russian okay so that was actually uh, they invited me a uh, to the court case there was a court case against the gita propas gita yes so yes. eight years ago so i couldn't come but i would have come if i could it would just uh, anyhow just for some practical reasons but i i said it supported and he said why don't we uh, do this your gita in a, in a russian which the devotees did we worked together they acquired the, the, the they acquired the uh, the rights from rotledge everything was done properly and the gita is now published by iskon in russia and distributed to libraries my, my mean my work and that was encouraged by the gbc at the time bhakti vigyan maharaj so uh, that's the russian edition now in uh, brazil in brazil devotees uh, also wanted my uh, edition and just now it happened just uh, it, it, we, we did a lot of work and uh, that was translated into a uh, portuguese and uh, published by a leading academic press called vozes just about a month ago and actually i was supposed to have an inaugural speech on the uh, through zoom uh, a promotion speech just tomorrow evening uh, me in israel speaking to a brazil brazilian audience uh, in english translating to portuguese but they asked me to to postpone it to later this month so we're talking now about the inauguration of a, of a, a, the book in in brazil promoted by devotees that's my point and then in china it was done also by devotees and there's a chinese edition and right now there's another a, edition being done by chinese devotees because they felt that the other the other edition wasn't clear enough the language was too high and they want something more uh, uh, accessible so i'm in touch with a, a certain chinese devotee lady uh, we are corresponding we were supposed to meet on zoom just two days ago three days ago and we just made another meeting for the for the later this month to discuss some questions of the translation but the point is that iskon china also wants to have this uh, as a, a, a another edition so we're talking now about a, a a russian edition with iskon in in russia we're talking about a a, a portuguese promoted by iskon scholars in 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 portugal in in brazil and two editions in china all one done by the devotees and one in in the making so the the, the conclusion of the devotees like the text the the devotees like it they feel that the text is devotional it's not uh, it's not theoretical they feel that it's it's a good it's a good uh, apparently otherwise they would have not uh, read it so i think the devotees like it uh, i'm intellectualizing the gita it's true i am intellectualizing but uh, i think the devotees still like it yeah that's amazing. and i'm very happy about it because they wanted it to serve uh, the devotees to serve shila prabhupad and a, to serve as a bridge i would say perhaps that's that's what a bridge uh, to the more academic uh, more uh, i don't know secular uh, world true